Hello everyone, Rain here with Audio Plugin Deals, and today we have another exciting deal, and this time it's for Walgorse Strike Fit. This VST plugin is a recreation and emulation of the well-known string synthesizer, so really keen to get into this one as soon as possible. The only thing we have to do is just make sure that you have hit like, subscribe to the channel, and also turned on notifications, so that any time we have another one of these deals go live, you know straight away. Now, let's get right into looking at Waldorf's Strike Fit. Okay, so we have the Strike Fit interface open here now, and as you can see, there's a few different settings that we can look at. So, to start with, in the top left, we have the volume, and then we also have this strings and registration control. So the registration cycles through which sounds the main ensemble part of the sound will be drawing from. So you have violin, viola, cello, brass, choir. And as you slide this registration dial around, it will affect the sound. So if you have it all the way over here, it's violin. If you have it in this cello section, it will drop an octave and play that cello. The brass is a more distorted brassy sound and then you have choir as well and these lines sh sort of show where all these instruments are being active so if you have the registration all the way around it's a full arrangement very full texture you can select the octaves so just the bass octave the octave above or both and then you can turn on this string ensemble button that makes it sound like a more full ensemble so if we just have a listen to the sound, you can have a listen to that ensemble feature. And then you turn on this. And you get that more stringy sound. And as you slide the registration around, so we're in the choir and a little bit of organ, more organ and brass, and then cello, and you hear it dropping. And as well as this string uh, slash ensemble function, you also have chorus, which adds a classic chorus effect. And then you have crescendo and release, which is really attack and release. Now you'll notice this balance knob here, and that is between this main sort of uh, ensemble-like sound and the solo instrument. So if you turn it all the way this way, then you're only getting the solo instrument sound, like a more lead or plucky sound. And again, you have the timbre selection. So at the moment, it's looking at this E piano, there's bass, uh, there is synths and everything. So again, you can switch it around. Again, you have this sort of octave split, high, low layer, and you have this tremolo control as well. The other thing is this attack feature has this little percussion section, percussive, sorry, section of the attack. So it's showing that at low attack values within this given range, it will add a little bit of a percussive attack to the sound, and this is how much of that you want. So if we put it onto the E piano, this is what it will sound like. But then if we start to move into this range, and you're hearing that click, then you have a decay slash release control here, and then you also have envelope sustain. So if you have this switched off, then it will you know decay as you want it to. It will start decaying straight away. If you have this envelope sustain, it will set the sustain to 100, so um, it will always be at the max sustain. So with it off 
And then you have this tremolo, of course, as well. And you can balance between all these timbres to find whatever you like. You can switch to high. Bass. And you could add more effects at the bottom here because you have this animate. Animate is like an LFO and so that adds this dynamic variation to the sound. So if you have it off, it's consistent and then and then you have a classic phaser effect as well. And one thing I love about the instrument is that the Invil reverb is really, really beautiful. So let's dial that up. Listen to that echo as it fades out. Well, there you go, that's a really quick run through of what all of these parameters can do. Uh, I do think my favorite part of it is the reverb, but also altering the registration to move between those different beautiful ensemble sounds, the strings and the choir and everything. It sounds really great. They're very classic type of sounds, of course. And I do think a lot of the magic happens as you sort of cycle between changing the different parameters. So altering the registration as it plays. And so this is all automatable. And if you record and you then change these as the sound plays through, uh, Ableton or whatever door you use will be able to sort of remember those changes and you can perform in the variations of these. So, uh, Let's listen to it in the context of a track. The keen-eyed among you may have noticed I've put bass and drum channels up on the right here. And surprise, they were all hiding behind the plugin. So uh, I did add this little rhythm section here. And so what I've done as well is I've already put in chords and a couple of little melodic ideas so that you can listen to the synthesizer and I'll be adjusting these as it plays through to sort of perform the settings and, and the synthesis and the, the alteration of the sounds, even if the melodies have already been written. So all it is, is it is strike fit with a bit of drum and bass. And so everything is being created from this massive synth. Uh, I'm just going to turn on this EQ here, which all it is doing is cutting off a bit of low end just to make room for the kick and the bass and to be a bit more distinct in which area it's covering. I'm going to load up uh, a preset I'd sort of made uh, for this particular demo, like just for the beginning. And then, so you see it changed the settings there, you can save different presets and make your own ones, of course. And then I'll be altering these as the track plays through and you can sort of listen to it. And it will be a bit off the cuff, but 
that's what's fun about it. So let's waste no more time and get right into it. There you go, that was a wonderfully short demo of what you can do with the StrikeFet synthesizer. Obviously that's really only the tip of the iceberg, uh, but it showed off hopefully some of the beautiful sounds this is capable of making. And really you can have so much fun with this just setting a little chords uh, sample or loop and then just messing around with these. And as I said, the way it modulates between the different sounds is maybe my favorite part. I think that's where the magic happens. I mean, if you just put this here, oh, sorry, these little MIDI clips here and just looped it. So this second channel is just inputting some arpeggios. This is just an empty MIDI channel, no instrument with an arpeggiator so that on top of the sustain chords, we have little impulses and then uh, I mean, if you just loop this, you could have great fun with it. There you go, I'm almost starting to make another demo um, just on the fly there, but this is such an inspiring, wonderful, compact little instrument. Um, there we go, that is StrikeFet from Waldorf. Um, really great pickup that we obviously have a deal on for at the moment at Audio Plugin Deals. So yeah, make sure to check that out for sure and also keep an eye out for everything else we have coming. I've been Rain, see you in the next one.